Juliana's kitchen, by the way. It's really small. I'm literally, my, my butt is touching the <laughs> oven. But hopefully it won't be in, in seven weeks when I yeah. have a smaller butt. So if you didn't know already, I'm on a show called Superheroes in Training, where we are working out five days a week for 10 weeks to be fit like a superhero. Today, because we're working on muscle building this week, we have a Chipotle style burrito bowl. As you can see, I'm chopping this onion. We're gonna chop the whole onion, this garlic, and this jalapeno. <laughs> and half of it's gonna be used for the salsa, and half of it's gonna be used for our refried beans. The cool thing about this recipe is the ingredients that go in the beans and the ingredients that go in the salsa are almost the same. So we're going to basically do two things at once. You're really, you're really, your I feel are really off. strong, guys. One of the tricks for the garlic here is if you want to cut it smaller faster, if you add a little bit of salt, what? I didn't know this. It helps the chopping process. It starts to break down the garlic so you get a paste, which tastes better. She doesn't tell me anything. Do you know a superhero you'd want to be? Yeah. What? Wonder Woman. No, I want to be Robert Downey Jr. He's really sexy. He's really sexy. Good one. You macerated that garlic. I did. If you like your Chipotle burrito bowls real spicy, you can always use a different kind of pepper. But I like using- This seems like it's gonna be really spicy anyway. I like the jalapenos because they add a nice kick without making them too like unfriendly if you wanted to have a bunch of friends over. You kind of like please everyone. So now we're gonna mix all these guys together and then half will go in the pan. I wish you would have chosen a smaller bowl for that. <laughs> you don't want to overdo it on the oil. Olive oil is super good for you, but a little too much can be the difference between losing weight and staying exactly the same. So we're gonna only use a teaspoon of oil here. So oil's warm. At half of it, half of it! <laughs> Onions, garlic, and jalapeno are becoming aromatic. It's time to make your salsa. Oh, sorry. Is it cool I do it with a knife? One of the easiest tricks to make really good salsa is remembering to remove the seeds from the inside of the tomato. If it's just you and you want to make enough so that you can have it for lunch tomorrow, this is a really good way to make sure your salsa is still tasty. Hi, hi, how are you? I'm seedless, how are you? I'm seedless too. The trick with the beans is that they're really delicious by adding a scotch of honey. This honey we get at Whole Foods, it's Honey Pacifica. I don't want to overdo it on the sugar because that will definitely put a halt in your weight loss. And our salsa is almost complete. We'll add some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper! Give it a little mixy poo. Add your lime to taste and this guy. Our last step to making our Chipotle style burrito bowl, assembling our salad. First, we'll add our salad. You can toss in any vegetables you have lying around. We have red cabbage, romaine, and red peppers. Next, we have one rotisserie chicken breast. Take the skin off, because that has a lot of fat. And then you're just gonna shred it. And each bowl gets half of a chicken breast. I said each of these bowls have 400 calories. They also each have 24 grams of protein, which is amazing. Amazing, yeah. Mm. Really good? Mm -hmm. Spicy. We use the salsa as the dressing. And it has so much flavor, you don't really need the cheese, you don't really miss the sour cream. So I'm gonna put the beans on now. Do this last, like right before you're about to eat, because it'll make your lettuce a little wilty if you let it sit for too long. And then, look how much food you can get for 400 calories, this is insane. We're also adding everyone's favorite fruit slash vegetable, the avocado. Do you know how to pick a ripe avocado? Here's what you do. You take off this little knob here. Mm -hmm. If it's squishy but it's green underneath, that means that it's not rotten on the inside. Oh, but if it's brown in there, which I've, I've bought avocados that are brown in there, no go. And nobody gonna, got time for that. We're gonna add pumpkin seeds. All right, and here you've got your Chipotle style burrito bowl, 400 calories, and about 10 pounds of food. Approximately. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week. Should we okay. try it? Oh, yeah. Honey, you forgot the most important part. And don't forget to watch Juliana kicking some ass on Superheroes in Training. <laughs>